Hey guys, what's going on? I am Captain, and I am here today with a special quarantine edition tutorial for you on sidechain reverbs and delays. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you why you should do this, how to do it, when you should do it. Um, I don't know, I'm a big fan. Unfortunately, it's kind of the hammer in my toolbox that gets used on everything. Um, Anyway, I'm going to break it down for you. This is sidechain reverbs and ducking. All right, so right now I've got just Ableton with the Ableton Grand Piano. Got an arpeggiator on it. Got velocity all the way up. The reason for that is I really want the difference to stand out. Um, Sidechain reverb, sidechain ducking is great for anything that's got a lot of transients that you want to retain the transients on. Um, so anyway, like I said, we've just got the piano. I've turned the reverb down to nothing. Um, I have my own simple self-ducking um, kit uh, blah, 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 rack <laughs> uh, that you guys can actually download for free during the lockdown. Uh, look down below for that. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to build these racks as well. Um, so here's the deal. Let's go ahead and whip up the reverb. Uh, so this is normal piano with reverb. Without reverb. With reverb. All right, now let's really crank that reverb up and make this nice and wet. Like, I don't know, like six, five seconds? Yeah, five seconds. Nope, not 500 milliseconds, 5,000 milliseconds. And I don't know, like, that's still a little wet, but whatever. We're, we're trying to accentuate this, make it stand out. Hear how that reverb just starts to step over the notes? So let's take this exact same reverb. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and make our own real quick. Here we go. First thing to do, make this a group. So group this. Control G, um, I don't know, what is it like? <laughs> I don't know the shortcut. I, I only know the shortcut, rather. Um, okay, better yet, here we go. We'll just, uh, yep, that's what you do. So, ungroup, so yeah, just click here, group it. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, so we've got a dry chain, or we've got a wet chain, we also want a dry chain. So we're gonna go ahead and crank this wet all the way up. So all this channel gets is the wet signal, sorry. Quarantine mustache is itchy. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's create a chain. We're gonna go ahead and call this chain dry. And now we have a full, you know, 50% dry wet. Uh, I'll show you how to even take that a step further and make your own dry wet knob out of it. Okay, so we've got this. Let's go ahead and take a compressor. So we'll just grab a regular compressor drag it into our group and then we I personally like this view of the compressor I know different people have different views that they like uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the macro knobs out because I want to make some macros too uh, so on the compressor go ahead and expand it click side chain pick audio from the channel you're in now now here's the the super neat trick you can do that a lot of people just kind of gloss over um, if you click right here where it says pre-effects, go all the way down, so you'll see, where is it? Audio effect rack, dry, pre-effects, chain pre-effects. Uh, what is it called? Just audio effect rack, yeah? So that's it. We'll just pick chain pre-effects. That way we get the signal here before it hits the reverb. So anything else we have, it's going to get hit right there. Um, yeah, a lot of people skip this step and you end up getting the whole channel pre-effects, not just before the, the rack effect. All right, so next, 
Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just play this so you can see it on the compressor happening. Okay, so that's, that's doing nothing. But if we grab this threshold, drop it down into the range. That dip you see is the compressor actually pressing down the volume, uh, or it's actually just compressing the track. Uh, also, when you do this, make sure you have makeup off. I know some people's Ableton defaults to makeup on, so. All right, so let's go ahead and turn the attack all the way down. We'll turn the ratio up to about four, uh, and we'll turn the release all the way down. Uh, what else do we want to change here? Now you hear how that reverb just gets right out of the way? All right, so we got that working for us. Um, Let's go ahead and make a dry wet knob though. Um, I know there's other tutorials to do this, but we might as well cover it here. Um, so what you want to do is show the chain by clicking chain. Grab this all the way over here. And you want your wet signal to come in full about halfway. Drag your dry signal all the way across. You want your dry signal Hey, uh, yeah, that's right. You want your dry signal to go to about here as well. That way you got a 50-50 point. It'll act like a dry wet knob, just like um, normal. Uh, so we're gonna, just gonna map that to macro eight and we're gonna rename it dry wet, or we'll just name it wet. So you can still get just the reverb and just the reverb that's out of the way. See how it always cuts through? It's really great. I just love it. Um, okay, let's see. Other things you'd like to macro. Uh, Pre-delay is a great one to macro. Uh, we'll just throw it down on five for now. Now, pre-delay, for those that don't know, is the amount of time in your signal that it takes before the reverb kicks in. So if you have a transient like that, transient is getting in your reverb, you can cut it out by increasing the delay. So drum hits, you can, you know, take out the hit. Anyway, all right, so next, uh, obviously we wanna map the decay time. I mean, that's kind of the, the big, the whole thing on a reverb. Let's just shrink this down to like 3000. Just for something that's not overly exaggerated. Um, all right, what's other good stuff to map here? Obviously you want to map your ratio, uh, or I do anyway. Um, I do have a simple version of this where all you got to do is change the delay time. So if you want to do that, that's cool. Um, go ahead and map that to six. And I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit. We're going to hide the chain. We're going to hide that and just, nope. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, again, this is all live, no cuts. Um, obviously, you want to put the attack in there. We'll just say macro two. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't really, you really don't need the, the attack. I'm sorry, you pretty much want the attack to be instantaneous, um, which is why I use the live eight compressor, not the current compressor in mind, because it does a little better job uh, with low attacks. But we definitely want to map the release. Let's see what else do we want to map? We want to map the threshold. Um, and then there's probably more stuff we can do, but that's the big stuff. So if you see the signal here, if we increase the threshold, cuts out less, cuts out more. All right, let's give it um, long release so that you get that 
pumping kind of uh, action. So let's see, this is 150. We'll do a release of 125. That should be, I think that's an eighth note ish. See how it's out of the way every time and then it comes back with the reverb? It's a really great sound. Let's increase the threshold. I'm gonna turn this uh, arpeggiator off for a second. See how all the transients come through, but you still get the reverb. So that's how you make your own. Super cool, super useful. Um, however, if you just go download my pack, you'll get these reverbs, which is the simple one. Oh, forgot the arpeggiator. <laughs> Easy mode. Likewise, um, I have the full version uh, that I personally prefer, where you can see, again, the ratio, the threshold, the release, you see all the, the relevant uh, compressor um, settings as well as the relevant uh, reverb settings. That's a 12 second delay. So, I mean, yeah, cool stuff. Um, likewise, the reverbs, you can do the exact same thing with the delay or the echo. Uh, so I'm just gonna fire this up. I'm not gonna bother walking through the steps because it's the exact same steps to build this. Um, the only difference is we're using um, the delay. I'll go ahead and open this up for you just so you can see it. So it's a delay and the compressor is um, mapped. Uh, so this is the simple one, and it's just the delay time, the feedback, ping pong if you want it. Oh, let me try. <laughs> it would help if I soloed the right thing. Turn some ping pong on. Okay. See how our note is still cutting? <laughs> See how our note is still cutting right through that? Uh, let's do uh, the same thing, but I have a version with sync. Uh, oop, not that one. Do, do, do. Ah, let me go to the pack. Here we go. Uh, so we'll do simple sync and delay. We'll drag that over here. Apparently I did not copy that. the compressor. Yeah, it just steps all over itself. So yeah, side chain. Super awesome. Uh, likewise, you can do the exact same thing with Ableton's Echo. So I went ahead and added Echo controls. So yeah, I've got 10 different racks you guys can grab. Does all this for you. Right now they are free. They, they may not be free if you're watching this later on, but during lockdown, I've got all of my racks available for free. Donations are awesome, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, there's nothing stopping you from going and grabbing them at the link below. Uh, I hope this is really helpful for you. Uh, this really helped push my own production forward quite a bit, so hopefully it helps you as well. Anyway, I am Captain. I hope you have a wonderful time and thanks for tuning in and best of luck with your production. Later.